you're all familiar with this uh, little situation and these units have this thermal bypass valve as you can see it's located in the cooler line manifold that uh, bolts to the side of the transmission case and inside that that thermal valve um, it can be trouble especially the earlier ones they were made of plastic they were terrible they would swell uh, they would crack uh, we showed this to you in a previous seminar we actually showed you one that cracked and of course at that point what they do is the, they create a situation where the uh, transmission is now running hotter than it should uh, so at some point in time uh, GM actually switched to a metal as you can see it's a copper or bronze kind of thermal valve well uh, this valve has changed now what we've done is on page 52 we've given you the part number for the new thermal bypass valve and if all you're doing is changing this obviously you don't need a whole kit you ne just need the o-ring to seal this manifold against the case we've given you the part number for that o-ring so you can get only what you need and then just go on with what you need to do here the new thermal valve looks like this you have this on page 53 uh, it will have the number 70 stamped on it. That's how you'll know it's the new improved version. Uh, the previous one you saw in the previous slide will not have the number 70 stamped on it, so you know it's not the Im new improved version. So make sure you look for that. If you use the part number we've given you there, this is what you'll get. Thank you for watching. For all confirmed fixed videos and unlimited technical support, become an ATSG member your transmission tech solution. Click the membership link below.